Hello there and welcome. Today we are learning about value returning methods, methods that return values. So uh, chances are you've already used a method that returns a value. For example, the parse int method, uh, you know, integer.parse int, that is a method that returns a value. Also math.pow. Um, you know, if we did two, um, two here, we would be taking the value of two and uh, we'd be taking that to the uh, second power, so that'd be four. This method right here would return the value of four. Um, whenever you have a uh, value returning method, uh, it, it needs a variable to hold the data that it returns. For example, let's say we've got uh, integer.parseInt. So we've got this method right here, parseInt, and we're sending it the string um, uh, 700. Well, parseInt's going to take this string 700 right here, and it's going to uh, parse that into an actual integer, and it's going to return a a integer value of 700, and it has to have somewhere to store that. So you always are going to need a variable to put uh, the, the data that it returns. Um, so this right here returns uh, the uh, an integer uh, data of uh, 700, and we put that into int number. So value returning methods need a variable to hold the data that they return. So let's look at this right here. Uh, you are probably used to seeing uh, methods like this, public, static, void, sum. Um, sum is the name of the method, and you're used to seeing this keyword, keyword right here, void. This means that the method does not return a value. If your method does return a value, then you're going to have a data type right here. This uh, data type indicates uh, to Java, hey, this is the type of data that I'm returning. So public static int sum, this tells us that uh, this method sum is going to return a, uh, a, a value of the int data type. So right here, uh, this is another example. This is a method called uh, uh, int sum, and notice that I've got two uh, parameter declarations right here. So I'm sending this uh, method sum two values. And inside this method, I declare a local variable, and then I, uh, I, I'm calculating the sum. So I take uh, int pnum plus int p, pnum2. Uh, those are these uh, two uh, variables right here, and I'm calculating the sum. And then once I find that sum, I'm going to return it. I have to use the keyword return at the very end of my method to return a value. If this right here says int, then you have to have a return um, statement that's returning an integer uh, data value. So let's go ahead and let's look at a uh, demonstration. So right here, um, my program, uh, my, my class is called crow3 underscore 074 cylinder method demo. And the first thing I'm doing is I'm uh, importing the uh, scanner class so I can grab information from the command prompt. I'm going to declare a few variables right here. I've got uh, height, dbl radius, uh, dbl circus, circle area, dbl cylinder surface area, and dbl cylinder volume. So this is a program that's going to calculate uh, circle area, cylinder surface area, and cylinder volume. So I'm going to go ahead and create my scanner object. There's a keyboard. There's my scanner object right there. I welcome the user to the program. And then I ask the user for uh, the height of the cylinder. I'm going to grab that from them. I'm going to put it into DBL height. I'm going to ask them for the radius of the cylinder. I'm going to grab that and put it into uh, DBL radius. And right here I've got a method called circle area. And I'm sending circle area the, uh, the radius that I, um, that I grabbed from the user. So I'm going to send the user the radius. And then circle area is, area is going to perform a calculation. And then it's going to return the area to this variable right here. So I have to have this variable set equal to this, um, this method because uh, um, this method is going to return a value. So let's go ahead and let's look at circle area, uh, the method itself, and see, and see what's going on. So notice that I'm sending it an argument right here of double data type. So if I go down to circle area, notice that my parameter is uh, ready to accept that double data type and uh, um, whatever uh, argument I'm, I'm, I'm sending to it, it's going to now become dbl p radius. So uh, notice right here that my method has a public static double circle area. This is not void, it's double, so I'm returning a uh, double data type value. So I'm going to declare a variable in here called dbl area and then I'm going to calculate the area, um, say equals math.py times math.pow dbl p radius 
comma 2. This means uh, the radius to the second power. And then I'm going to return dBL area. So I'm returning dBL area. And then that value from this method will go into dBL circle area. So the ne next method that I have right here is uh, cylinder SA, cylinder surface area, and I'm sending it two arguments. I'm sending it the argument dBL radius and dBL height. So let's go ahead and let's look at cylinder SA method. So here it is. So notice that uh, it has a return type of double. Here are my parameter declarations. In here I uh, declare a local variable called dBL surface area and I do some calculations. I find out what the surface area is using this right here. And I put whatever the uh, result is into dBL surface area and then I'm returning whatever value dBL surface area is and that is going to go into this variable right here. So here's my method declaration where I'm calling it and I'm sending it those arguments. The method will perform those calculations and it'll send the, re the, uh, the result, the value, into this variable. So the final method that we're going to have, have here is a cylinder volume. I'm sending it both dBL radius and dBL height, these two uh, methods. And it's the same thing. Here are my parameter declarations. We've got a double return type. I'm going to perform calculations and send this uh, back into my local variable called uh, dBL volume and then I'm going to return that value and it's going to be put into dBL cylinder volume. So then at the very end in my main method right here I'm going to just display to the user the circle area, area, the cylinder surface area and the cylinder volume. So if I run this, so enter the height of the cylinder, let's do 2, enter the radius of the cylinder, three and here is the final result because I uh, you know passed the methods uh, values uh, passed them arguments and then I returned those values and then I displayed them to the screen so again uh, today we were learning about methods that return values I uh, hope this was helpful thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you next time